Hi, thanks for joining me. In the last lesson, I gave you an example of how you could create a solo using just notes in the chords over a 1-4-5 progression, a dominant 1-4-5 progression that was. Um, so in this lesson, I'm going to show you uh, not really a lick or a solo or anything like that. It's more a practice um, habit or method you could use for um, voice leading through uh, the chord tones of a progression. Um, so the idea with this exercise is to um, go from this side of the neck to the other side of the neck. You pick one area of your instrument, in this case we're going to use the uh, third position, and we're going to create um, a, an arpeggio line that goes through the chord progression from this side of the neck, that side of the neck, up and back, up and back like that. Um, and since the progression goes two bars of G7, two bars of C7, two bars of D7, then another two bars of G7, we'll be playing, uh, we'll be actually using crotchets for this example. You could use any rhythm you wanted to. You could use semi brews, minims, crotchets, triplets, quavers, anything. Um, but we're going to be using crotchets. So uh, we'll be playing eight crotchets of G7, followed by eight crotchets of C7, eight crotchets of D7, back to eight crotchets of G7. So the first um, chord is G7. So here we go. We've got G7 up four notes. There's one bar. There's another bar. If we do two bars of G7, we end up on an F note, which is the flat seven of G7. So the next chord is C7, and the next note closest to us or available to us up from F is a G note, which is the fifth note or the fifth of C7. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is play uh, eight notes of C7. So we'll go G, B flat, G, and E is one bar of C7. And then I went down the root note, flat seven, fifth, and E, which is the third of C7. So together that'll sound like this. So what I've done there is I've voice leaded through uh, two chords, two bars each using crotchets, G7 to C7, and I've ended up on the uh, E note, which is the uh, third of C7. So we're still traveling down, we've still got a few notes we could use on our instrument. So um, the next note available to us going down is actually the root note of D7. Um, so I'll play eight, eight notes. Uh, of the D7 arpeggio. So we go D, C, the flat seven, A, F sharp, then we're gonna go back up to the A, C, D, and F sharp. Um, so I've voice led it down and up through D7 there. And then finally, we've got two bars of G7. So we've got uh, G, B, D, F is one bar, G, B, G, so all together, I'll play through the whole uh, progression with the backing track so you can hear how it sounds. It's not a particularly interesting um, thing to listen to really, but um, knowing your chord tones or the chord tones available to you in the chord that you're playing over is obviously going to be very uh, beneficial because they're going to sound right and they're, it's a great way of uh, outlining a chord progression. So, I mean, if I, you know, just played through... Uh, G7 and C7, just with the notes, you can hear it straight away. So there I, I pretty much just used chord tones, except on the when I played to the C7, um, I slid between the third and the flat third. So um, from memory, I think I, I used that little area of G7, and then when I switched to the C7, now I'm not saying you have to just use these notes when you're improvising or anything like that. It's just something that you can use to uh, expand what you already do. So you might be great at using your um, minor pentatonic and your minor blues scale, your G minor um, you know, blues and pentatonic over a, a blues progression. And that's great and you can keep using that forever. But this is just gives you something a little bit extra uh, to add to your solos.